Welcome to the Davis Newscast for Friday, October 25th, 2019. I am Bronte Swanston Hendrickson. A housing development project aimed at building the population on the island of Nevis commenced on Thursday, October 24th. The Nevis Housing and Land Development Corporation, NHLDC, in conjunction with the St. Christopher and Nevis Social Security Board, hosted an official commencement ceremony for University Heights at Spring Hill Estate, a program targeted recent university graduates. The featured address was delivered by Minister of Lands and Housing, the Honorable Alexis Jeffers, who is also the chairman of the NHLDC Board of Directors. And what are the incentives being offered for persons who we are encouraging to come back to Nevis? We are saying that after you have completed your university studies or four-year college and you return to Nevis, at least five years after, you can benefit from this innovative and bold step that we have taken by acquiring land at a concessionary rate of one dollar. In terms of the size of land, we are not selling land just as it is. It must be a package with a house. The houses that are being built here range from at least $320,000 up to as much as $350,000. University Heights measures 3.25 acres and consists of 13 lots. Lot sizes range from 8,872 square feet to 11,126 square feet. We have four different designs that we are proposing to build here at University Heights. The first design is the rose. That is a three bedroom, two bath house. It is just about 1170 square feet at a cost of $320,000. Now this is the interesting part. The down payment that you would make in this case, it is not the usual 20% that you'll pay to the commercial banks, but we're saying bring us $12,000 as a down payment and that will be the, would be the start of you on your journey to owning a home here at University Heights. There's also the rosette, which is a three bedroom, two bath, which is 1,230 square feet. Uh, that is priced per unit at $330,000. You'll also pay down $12,000. The white rose is a three bedroom also and two bath. It is 1,188 square feet at a unit cost of $340,000. In that case, though, you'll pay down $15,000. Then you have the Red Rose, which is a four bedroom, two bath, 1,350 square feet. $350,000 is the cost of that unit and you'll pay down $15,000. The NHLDC has secured a loan of $15 million from the St. Christopher and Nevis Social Security Board for this and other housing development projects in Nevis. Deputy Director Vernal Powell represented the Social Security Board at Thursday's ceremony. I applaud the effort of the NA, continue to build more houses, uh, make sure that people are comfortable in, in, in the place of their birth and those who come to live among us growing up in someone else's place myself, we ought to welcome them. And I wish everyone a very good afternoon. And uh, I wish the government every success. Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Education, Kevin Barrett, also congratulated the Davis Island Administration and all those who had the foresight to implement the program. The ceremony also saw the breaking of the ground to signal the official commencement of University Heights. The new development offers a stunning view of the Atlantic Ocean, with Nevis Peak providing the perfect backdrop. Prospective homeowners can apply through the Nevis Housing and Land Development Corporation. The Ministries of Health and Education, in collaboration with the Rouse Foundation, facilitated a mini chef academy with students of the Joyce and Labatt Primary School and the Elizabeth Pemberton Primary School on Thursday, October 24th. The first part of the session was conducted by cardiologist Dr. Charlie Rouse of the U.S. based Rouse Foundation, which facilitates two medical missions per year in Nevis. In order for you to do anything that you want to do physically, you have to make sure that you eat properly. We have been coming to uh, the island probably for about seven years now. 
And what we've noticed is that you have a high incidence or a high occurrence of something called diabetes and high blood pressure. So what you gotta understand is now, if you have a family member that has diabetes, if you have a family member that has high blood pressure, those are things that affect the heart and can cause the heart not to function right. But also, this is what you gotta remember that you too are at risk of having those same kind of things. The students also learned how to prepare a healthy cake made from local cassava flour, demonstrated by executive chef Michael Henville, food and nutrition specialist attached to the school meals program. At the close of the session, the students were presented with the recipe for the cake in addition to certificates of participation. Compliments of the Rouse Foundation, each student also received gifts of a chef's cap and apron. Equipment to start tower gardens were also donated to each school to allow the students to grow vegetables and herbs to be used in the school's kitchens. On the behalf of the Jason Library Primary School, we thank you for coming to our school's cafeteria to teach us about healthy eating. On behalf of the Elizabeth Pemberton Primary School, we thank you for bringing us here and putting together putting together this for us. Thank you. Nadine Patty Keynes, coordinator of the Health Promotion Unit, and Rinal Daniel, school meals coordinator, also expressed appreciation on behalf of the Ministry of Health and the Ministry of Education, respectively. A similar session was held for parents of students on Thursday evening. Thursday's Mini Chef Academy follows similar sessions which have been held at the St. James's Primary, St. Thomas's Primary, Charleston Primary, and Ivor Walters Primary Schools. Still to come, Sit back, relax, and I'm going to set the stage on fire! The details after this break. Hotels on Nevis exist in great variety. The range of architectural styles are wide. Some are historic, some are modern, and yet others skillfully straddle both. Whether your choice is on the beach or in the hills, your stay would be comfortable and memorable. Nevis is one of the most unspoiled and relaxing islands in the Caribbean. Vividly green with blue skies, clean air and long empty beaches. Nevis has a pace of life that encourages you to stop and appreciate all the modern natural beauty around you. It's a very special place. Famed for its charm and easy-going genuineness of its people. Nevis is a special place that will seduce you and tug at your heartstrings after you leave. Come and discover this remarkable jewel for yourself. The genuine charm and hospitality radiate into the unspoken. Welcome, be my guest and do come again. Welcome back. Step up, stand out, speak out is the theme under which the Ivor Walters Primary School has launched a campaign in observance of Bullying Awareness Day today, Friday, October 25th. Guidance counselor at the Ivor Walters Primary School, Siobhan Lowe, spearheaded the campaign. One of our school-wide positive behavior management goal is to eradicate bullying in our school. Today, we stand firm on the foundation of the school's anti-bullying ma mantra, together we stand against bullying. Now, bullying is everyone's business. It is not a trivial matter. It is a plague which, if not medicated and eradicated, has the potential to extend far beyond the walls of the school into the community at large. So the question is, why do people bully others? One, they too have been bullied. One child shared, I am so sick and tired of being mistreated by my classmates that I began bullying others just to fit in. Now I look back and realize how wrong that was. I was only causing the problem to grow. Two, they have poor role models. 
Many times, bullies treat other people the way they see their parents, older brothers and sisters, or any other adult in their lives treat others. The students performed anti-bullying songs, a dance, and a skit. This school right here is a bully zone, and he has a list of all alone. We don't hurt bodies, we don't hurt cats. Make it fun, we don't take part. We don't rule others again and again. We show respect 100%. Hi, I'm Kiana. And hi, I'm Kosani. We have, have to talk to you about, about something. It's bullying. When people think of bullying, they think of shoving, kicking, punching, fighting, or cursing, but it's a lot more than that. Bullies use their powers to hurt or control others. They make you feel unwelcome in places you should feel protected. Yes, like in school, and that's not okay. There was a time when I didn't feel welcome at school. I felt rejected, mocked, isolated, and alone. This made me feel sad and I did not want to come to school. Yes, me too. I recall one time just because I had answered questions correctly in class, everyone started laughing at me and making mock of me. I felt terrible. I did not ever want to raise my hand again. Do you know what to help me to cope and feel better? What's that, Kiana? I had a talk with the guidance counselor. She told me no one has the right to bully me or make me feel unwelcome. She also shared some useful tips with me that helped me greatly. The campaign is a collaboration between the Ivor Walters Primary School and the Davis Island Administration's Department of Youth. Among those supporting the campaign were Shefton Liburd, Education Officer responsible for the Ivor Walters Primary School, and members of the Parent Teacher Association. A similar campaign was also launched today at the Gingerland Secondary School. The contestants are ready for the staging of the highly anticipated Miss Nevis Senior Pageant 2019, slated for 5.30 p.m. on Saturday, October 26th at the Nevis Cultural Complex. The pageant will feature four contestants. Hi, my name is Idella Wallace. I'm delighted to take part in Miss Nevis Senior Pageant on the 26th of October. 5.30 p.m., come on out and enjoy what we have in store for you. I am Josephine Maynard. I hail from the famous Eden Brown in the beautiful village of Butler's. I am inviting one and all to come out and support the seniors' pageant. Hi, I'm Jan Grell Hall, contestant number two in the Senior Queen Pageant Show slated for October the 26th at the Cultural Complex, 5.30 p.m. sharp. So I'm inviting you to come out as we celebrate the elderly and to show to you that age is just a number. I am Bovani Butler of Camp St. James's Parish, Nevis, and I want you all to sit back, relax, and I'm going to set the stage on fire! Tickets for the show cost $25 for adults and $15 for children. The Miss Nevis Senior Pageant is one in a series of activities which is being held by the Senior Citizens Division in a celebration of International Month of Older Persons under the theme, The Journey to Age Equality. That's it for this edition of the Nevis Newscast. On behalf of all of us here at the Department of Information, I am Bronte T. Swanston Hendrickson, thank you for viewing.